So in our first episode, we ended up taking a game one victory against the New Orleans Pelicans. It was a pretty solid game. Actually, we ended up winning by 10 points. If you guys missed that episode, you can click on the top right. It'll take you right to it so you guys can catch up with what happened. I simulated game number two, but like a genius, I forgot to record the actual simulation of it. So we get the box score instead. I'm a noob. I'm a noob at recording videos, clearly. But here we are. So we ended up winning this game as well. This time by 11 points, Zach Levine with 30, 4, and 5. Autoport with 21 and 5. Laurie with 17 and 8. Myers Leonard with 15 and 6. And Wendell with a nice game, 13, 6, and 5. Very solid game. For the Pelicans, Zion Williamson led the way with 38 and 4. And then Drew Holiday with 16, 2, and 7. And then the rest of these guys kind of just played pretty average, I'd say. Jaleel had a good game, but yeah. So we are up 2-0. We are about to go to their home court. Let's see if we can go ahead and go up 3-0. I mean, this is going to be really easy if we end up going up 3-zip. So let's see if we can make it happen. I mean, we're on their own court. We're expecting them to come out and play a little bit better. As you can see, Zach Levine has actually recovered from his injury. He is back to his normal overall rating. So that's looking good there. But go up 3-zip. It's probably GG, right? No team's going to come back from a 3-zip deficit, especially in the NBA Finals. So let's see if we can put these guys to rest. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification as well so you guys can stay up to date with this series and all the other ones we got going on. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see how the Pelicans come out in game number three. And that's probably not how they wanted to start out with Wendell Carter immediately rejecting Lonzo Ball. Lonzo trying to go up again. This is very reminiscent of that game one start with Lonzo going up twice and missing both of them. But Zion there on the cleanup. Let's see how the Pelicans come out this game, man. Oh, they go up to Zion. Back-to-back -back buckets for Zion Williamson. Okay. In game number one, he was practically really quiet. I mean, we didn't see him do too much. You saw in that box score for game number two, he actually ended up leading the way for them. So maybe he's waking up a little bit or woken up. He's woke. Oh, you're going to kick it out. Let's kick it out to Zach in that corner for the three. That's big. That's a big miss. Two for a dollar, though. That's how we do it. Two for a dollar. Let's go. He misses both. All right, let's see if we can get something here. This is where we shine. Like I said earlier, we got to get something in these transition opportunities. I see a mismatch, though. All right, has to be one. Unless Zion's really that strong, he must be because Wendell's having a tough time here. Puts it up. Ooh, gets it to go in. Let's go, Wendell. Very low scoring game as we're about midway through this first quarter right now. Both teams kind of struggling on offense. Drew Holiday puts that little midi up and misses it as Sato brings it in. As you can see, we got some bench players in the game now, so maybe we can get some new life in here as Zach Levine attacks and misses Zion there. A little defensive presence. As they get it up to Josh Hart, he gets that layup to go in as Pelicans go up by four. Three minutes left to go in this first quarter as you can see it's not too good for us yet but we got this mismatch that we want to take advantage of let's go that's where all our bucks are going to come at this point we got to find these mismatches reddick oh he hit that let's reset let's reset let's get a little pick and pop going myers leonard can shoot the ball pretty well i don't really know what this play is but we'll take it and we are running some broken offense right now set up another pick and pop here as long as we get JJ Redick on the switch, I'm happy with that because we can take full advantage of this mismatch. So we're going to have to keep exposing this. Let's go. That's tough. Over two defenders. Zion being very aggressive. Thankfully, he misses that one. He's definitely woken up in this game. Zach Levine attacking. Let's go, Zach. His first two points of the game, man. It's been a very long time. Picking this one up with about five minutes left to go in this second quarter. You can see that the Pelicans actually have formed a six-point lead as we try to get a oop there. Brandon Ingram takes it to the other end. They go up by eight points, so we got to be a little bit careful here. We definitely don't want to let this game, or at least this quarter, slip away because it could be a very game-changing quarter here as Wendell Carter gets it on the inside and misses it. Come on. For whatever reason, more than any other game I've seen, we are just clanking easy layups. We're missing shots that we normally hit. As Otto drives to the rim, he's going to go to the line for two. Lonzo turns the ball over. Thank goodness Lonzo Ball is in the game now because we might make this comeback if he's out there. Oh, he's coming through with a spin move. He must have heard me. 
And thankfully, he misses again. Reset this play up. Let's reset it up. We got a chance here. Cutting to this lead even further. Zach taking the screen. Waiting for Wendell to cut it over as he puts up that little baby jumper. It's a four-point game. I want, him, I want them to give the ball back to Lonzo. Just keep giving it to him. Give it to him. He's been absolutely horrible so far. He puts up a... Okay. He made me shut up real quick. Brandon Ingram gets loose. Goes down the paint and misses. As we are pushing this pace here. I see Wendell cut into the rim. There we go. That's the oop I've been looking for. By the way, Wendell Carter with 10 points. Which makes him our leading scorer of the game. Etwan Moore attacking against Zach but misses. That was actually a really good look. I don't know how he missed that. I see Laurie cutting down the lane. Puts up that lefty layup. We got a one-point game. Oh, yeah. Let's get this mismatch going. Move, Lonzo. Just move. Easy buckets. Laurie with 12. Now, right, let's see if we close out the second quarter on a good note. Right? That's what we want. Let's go ahead and get it to Wendell. That's a mismatch. Let's go, up, big man. Easy bucket on the inside. We are exploiting these Pelican mismatches. They have no idea what to do against us. This is why we're in the NBA Finals, man. The whole season, we're just exploiting mismatches. And it just continues to work time and time again. As the Pelicans go to Drew Holiday with the floater. Misses, and there's there a foul on Zion. That's his second foul, so maybe we can work on getting him out of the game. So with only 23 seconds left to go here. Let's go ahead and run a pick and pop action. Zach sees that baseline. That gets blocked, but look at Wendell Carter. You madman. Six-point game. So as we jump back into this third quarter with about five minutes left to go, you can see it's actually a tie game. So the Pelicans made a comeback as Myers Leonard puts up that three, knocks it down. We go back up by three. Drew Holiday finds the lane, but some good recovery defense there by Zach Levine. We almost let him get loose. Almost too loose on that one. Sato with the ball back into Myers. Over to Lari. Whoa. Sato just took that ball from, <laughs> from Lari Market in there. As we get this mismatch, easy bucket. 20 points. 2 0 points for Lari. Let's go ahead and set up another pick and pop here for Lari Market. And he's been, he's been unstoppable this game. Trying to get him more and more involved. Oh, we got a lot of space here. What the heck, Pellies? Don't give that up. Don't give up that space. We will take that. Four minute mark. And we are looking good. Not great. Just good. Come set a screen, Larry. Lately, like, I don't know what's been going on. They just don't set screens like they used to. They don't. This generation. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, like, what's going on? 2K make an update where, like, screens don't get set as well. Sato with two points. Oh, Lonzo got the ball. You do whatever you want, Lonzo. Here. I'll give you all the space in the world. We all know. We all knew that was going to happen. Zach, break the defense. Kick down or kick out to Mo Harkless there for a quick two. We're up by eight points. We're looking good right now. So Lonzo Ball is two of ten. But, like, he refuses to give up. Ooh. Ooh, he missed the dunk. Oh, no. That's going to be a turnover. Oh, he caught it? What the heck is going on? How'd he catch, How'd he catch that? Drew Holiday goes up mid-ranger and misses that. Jaleel. Okay, bro. Relax. He just tried to kill Laurie Markkinen. Laurie, get out. You just got to. You know what? We'll never talk about that play ever again. But really, Jaleel Okafor looks like the only one on that team trying right now, man. Like, everybody else is just coasting along. It's the NBA Finals, baby. You got to come out like Myers Leonard and knock down some shots. So we've extended our lead here to double digits. Things are looking beautiful for us. Not so much for the Pelicans. Let's get this inside to Thaddeus Young. And another easy bucket there. We're up by 13. Setting up another pick and roll action. Kick this one back out to Kobe White. Let's close out this... Uh, let's close out this third quarter on a good note here. Zach knocks that down. 12 points for him. Oh, they find the lane... Oh, Wendell Carter with the big recovery. I thought we were actually going to glass that one. Ten seconds left on the shot clock here for the Pels. They keep attacking Wendell Carter. It's always going to be a bad idea. Zion Williamson out to Hart for a big jumper. Oh, he knocks that down. 
Going back into this game now, five minutes left to go in this fourth quarter, and it's a 10-point game. So the Pelicans are trying to orchestrate a comeback here. We want to make sure that does not happen and that that's not the case. Kobe White trying to take J.J. Redick to the rim. Nice little up fake. Let's see if we get that to go in. Not happening. Pelicans here can cut it down to single digits. That's something we want to avoid. Kobe White, geez, he's had a horrible game. <laughs> he's had a bad game, but it's okay. Still up by 10 here as they get the entry pass to Derek Favors. And they're now down only by 8. All right, I feel like these next two minutes are going to make or break us. We really got to formulate some good offense. Zach Levine fades away and knocks that down. 18 points for him. Pelicans quickly come back. I'm jumping at nothing. And it's a six-point game. All right, like I said, those next two minutes, we're still in the midst of them right now. And we got to be careful. We got to, like, set up some good plays. Let's go, Wendell. No foul. Thank you. Let's go. Three on Zion. Lonzo Ball back in the game. So it looks like we actually ended up winning this one. Just by sheer prediction. Zion goes up with a... Whoa, Zion Williamson. How did he get that up? Kobe has had a pretty bad game. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because we're playing well overall. Otto Porter is alive here. Puts up the three. He's woken up. Since that game in the conference finals, he's woken up. He's back. He's knocking down threes. Three minutes left to go here. As Brandon Ingram puts up that floater and knocks it down. Oh, good hands, Otto. He just ripped up Alonzo. He just took it from him. Let's go. 11 points. Some great defense. That might have just saved the game. Send a double team here. I'm happy with double teaming Drew Holiday. Reason being is because it leaves Alonzo Ball wide open. And Alonzo has permission to do whatever he wants with the ball from me unless it's like throwing oops like that that's big kobe white still trying to cross up alonzo i gotta remember alonzo's actually a good defender he's actually a good defender so it's not that easy as larry trying to back in zion williamson let's fade away on this one let's test out this fade away okay never mind over to brandon ingram alonzo in that corner big three misses is anybody surprised why am I picking on Lonzo so much this game? What's wrong with me? I gotta relax. Oh, wait, wait. We got that mismatch. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Let's seal this game up real quick. Seal it up. That's a foul there on Zion. That's his fourth. We're gonna go to the line for two free throws, but this one looks like it's a wrap. What are they thinking? Double screen coming for Drew Holiday. They want to open up the court a little bit. Drew puts it up, and that gets sent away by Thaddeus Young. Some beautiful defense as Kobe White wraps this one up and that's gonna be gg so let's go ahead and take a look at this box score you can see for the pelicans zion hero 22 and 14 a big game from him unfortunately not enough as his teammates didn't really support him lonzo ball 2 for 11 drew holiday 2 of 13 not the game you expect from these kind of players in the nba finals for the bulls wendell with 22 and 10 a beautiful game from him laurie with 20 and 6 4 of 5 from 3 zach with 18 and 6 Otto with 13 5 and 3 daddy Young with 10 and 4 and kobe white here with 5 8 and 6 again a bad shooting night but you can see that he actually did it all over the court so that's good so it looks like we're gonna walk away as nba champions in the next episode it's kind of crazy it's kind of weird it's kind of strange but you know what it is what it is as we are looking to sweep the Pelicans in the NBA Finals, we're going to have a lot of pressure to re repeat next year. Because, like, what, 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 how did we even get here? Why are we even here? Nothing makes sense anymore. But, regardless, thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.